No, that's because that's the music my dad listened to. But my dad, he he lived a v- very on Christian life. He found Jesus, and the music makes him think of his on Christian life. And so I never grew up with it. Like yep. I I know is the I I have my own version of what happened to the Beatles. Oh, would you like to tell us what happened to the Beatles, Brian? Sure. You guys want to know? Should I do an Irish? Yeah, if you can. I don't know why you have the stomach for it at this point. Sure, I'll do one. Was it mostly Bailey's? Was it unenjoyable? Mostly. Okay. All right, so, Ryan. All right. Now that you've got half of an Irish car bomb in you. What's up? Please regale us. Uh, what happened to the Beatles? All right, so this is the story my father told me, and what I know is the truth behind the Beatles. So, there were four members of the Beatles. And they are? There was Ringo, there was Paul McCartney, there was John Legend, and... Already wrong. There was George Martin. <laughs> no. You got the four 50%. of them were the greatest band members who ever lived in the whole entire universe. And they toured the world, and everybody loved them, and they were the greatest best and then one year they were kind of doing their best and then john legend no his name is not john legend his name is lennon lennon john lennon met this girl named yoko ono and the two of them were all like kissy kissy and we're gonna change the world and the other three were like "Uh uh-uh we aren't having this we're the greatest band ever how dare you take them away from us and like yoko ono you suck You're such a bitch. No one likes you. And she was like, John, they're being mean to me. And he's like, they're not being mean to you. Like, I'll make sure they're nice to you. And so, like, they would go and do things. And then they were right. Yoko Ono killed John Legend, John Lennon. And then the Beatles were so sad by this, they broke up. And they just kind of did their own thing from then on. So Yoko Ono murdered John Lennon. That is a hundred percent true. And did your dad tell you how? With a, it was like a mur- he, she hired someone and like she, so she hired the sniper and he has like three names. I forgot. I forgot. It was like Lee Mark Harvey. David Chapman. Yeah, that's him. He had three names and he hired him, and then she told John she was like, "Hey, go out to the window and look at something," and. <laughs> He was like, okay, and he went out to the window, and then she was like, fire! She had like a walkie-talkie, and she was like, fire! And then Mark Anthony was like, all right, and he fired. Mark Anthony! I don't know his name in the shooter shot, and he Maya mar- Moore! Yeah, J-Lo's ex-husband came in. And then that's how John Lennon, Lennon, Lennon was died. That's how John Lennon was died. Yeah, he got <laughs> That, that, that is the story. The only, okay, so you've got John Lennon's name right, Yoko Ono's name right. You, you phone a friend for the guy pulling the trigger, so I'm not going to give you credit for that one. There was a guy, I don't know his name, I know he had three names. Mark it David was, Chapman. Yeah, him. You know why I know this? No. Well, because Jared Leto, circling back to the whale, gained a bunch of weight to play the protect, or the antagonist in this movie about... The guy who killed John Lennon. There's a movie about this? There is. Is it anything like I said? <laughs> How much of my story is accurate? Like 13%. <laughs> is it just the people? Um, Pretty much. There was no sniper. <laughs> no, Mark Mark Anthony. Mark, what's his name? Mark Anthony. What's his name? Mark. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Simmer Mark Hoffman. David Chapman. Mark David Chapman. Uh, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, I know the name of the film. It's called Chapter Twenty Seven. Uh, fun fact. Wait, so so the, so he didn't say she didn't say go out to the window. And he went out to the window sill and go pow, and he died. No, he was shot on the street. That's Jared Leto. Fun fact. Oh, that's interesting. I, yeah. No, no clue. So yeah, I, I guess. Um. Also starring Lindsay Lohan. So fun fact. Fun Anyways, uh. <laughs> This has been a segment of Rush to Death Comics called High History, according to Brian Luke. Uh, this is what I would have told all my life. Like, we weren't, I, the only time I ever remember hearing the Beatles, we were in a Denny's once, and Hey Jude came on. And there was a song like, Hey Jude, don't make a lie. And my dad starts singing along, and I was like, What is that? And he goes, 
oh, this is a Beatles song. And the Beatles are bad. He goes, oh, they are. We should pray right now. And that's why we really got into the apology. Except, except, can I just tell you? Tell me what? John Lennon wrote Hey Jude. He wrote it for his son, Julian, who is, by the way, the only child of Yoko Ono and John Lennon, who has gone on to become a musician just like Yoko Ono has. So did Yoko Ono not kill John Lennon? No. Does anybody else Shh. believe this, or is this like... I'm pretty sure you're the only people that believe this. Like, maybe creatively she killed him, but not actually. I actually think... Wow. Listen, let's put up a poll. <laughs> this is amazing. Listen to this episode, then vote on the poll. This is amazing. Maybe we should include a bitly so it's not like a spoiler. That you have to listen to the show. I am shocked, right? I, I thought at least a half of my... I, I knew I had the names kind of wrong. I thought that's what you are going to correct me on. Because I know it's not George Martin. Or it's George something. Or Mark Anthony. <laughs> I know it's not Mark Anthony, but I know it's that he's got like three names. Like, da 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 Mark David Chapman. Yeah. But I know it's not George Martin, but it's George something. Correct. And his name's Ringo something. Star. Star. <laughs> and then John Lennon. <laughs> and then Paul McCartney. See, I, I'm, I got all, most. I just know what George's name is. It's George. George Harrison. Oh, I would never would have I know. that. <laughs> never. You could have offered me anything. You could have been like, the new PlayStation. <laughs> the new PlayStation. I never would have gotten Harrison. You would have said Harrison. I was going to say Ford. 